Hi friends, Robin here with Mattman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to inspire, encourage, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes year round. Welcome to this collaboration. I know I've teased it a couple times. Um, that's because it was actually planned for last week and then um, COVID was a jerk and I couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> uh, but today, this collaboration is actually with Annabeth from Sending Shoe Boxes. So today we are opening two different boxes. And the only thing that we did about this collab was say, hey, let's open the same theme box at the same time on the same day. So I don't know what is in her box and she doesn't know what's in my box. Uh, but we do know that it is a cat themed box because I love kitties, you guys know that, for a little girl aged five to nine. So a couple more things I wanted to talk about before we unbox this fun box is that collection week is coming up really soon. It is November 14th through the 21st this year and let's all make a plan to go together to our local um, collection spot and drop off all of our boxes at the same time. It's a really emotional event for me. Matt usually has to come with me because I cry the whole way home. Um, I fall in love with these boxes and to me these are children. They're not really boxes. This represents a child whose heart needs some joy, some true joy. And it is my hope that every box that we pack together here and that you pack together there, <laughs> um, that each one of them brings a smile to a face for at least a moment. Um, so I just wanted to remind you that collection week is coming up really soon and we can do this together. The next thing I wanted to talk about is where to place your label. So this is the label that I get um, on their website. They're free of charge. You just go onto SamaritansPurse.org, look for these labels, and they will send them to you. Um, the cool thing about these labels is once you make your contribution online, um, it is a donation, so it's optional, but it is highly recommended. Um, you can scan this barcode and then this will tell you where the box goes after it has been distributed, sometimes up to six months later. The other kind of um, label you can get is from these flyers. So your church might have something very similar to this. This is a specific one for Hobby Lobby that I picked up while shopping a few weeks ago. But um, this is what the label looks like on the flyer. And you can do the same thing. They also give you the option to mail in your contribution if you want to. Um, but they do ask that you make the contribution online. It's a little bit easier. You just cut out this label and you would put it in the same place. So we're gonna pop off this label here. I like these, they're really thick. And the best place to put these labels is on the lower third here, right here in this area of whatever box you choose. Whether you're packing a shoe box from your closet, a um, red and green box that you picked up maybe from your church or your friend, or if you're packing a plastic box like this, it doesn't matter. The label needs to go in this bottom section here. So let's do that really quick. And the reason that we wanna put it down here low is because of this rubber band. So I like these. These are my trusty 107 rubber bands. You don't have to buy a fancy rubber band. Any rubber band will do. The one from your junk drawer works just fine. Um, but after they go to the distribution center, a lovely volunteer is going to just double check that everything in here is allowed by Samaritan's Purse. We can do a separate video on what is and isn't allowed. But after they take off this rubber band and double check it for compliance, they're going to tape this box all the way around right here in the middle with some heavy duty shipping tape. 
So we want to put the label down in the bottom because this label is important not only for the distribution center, but it's also really important to the missionaries who receive this box as part of their ministry to support and reach out to their local communities. Once those are received in their local communities, this helps them know what age and gender of child to give this gift to. So that's why it's really important to put this sticker or label or write on the box down here what age and gender this is to. So let's get into the actual box here. Um, you can get plastic boxes or cardboard boxes from Samaritan's Purse online. Um, the price just changed and I don't know what it is yet but they are available online. This is my favorite box to pack with. It's actually from Daiso. So if you are looking for this box, this is what the label looks like. It is $1.75 for this box in store, or you can order them in bulk online. And I will link that and anything else that I know is available online, I will link it all in the description below. So now I, that I've shown you, I can take this label off. Um, also, just a friendly reminder that we want to try to collect all the trash from our boxes here for a couple reasons. One, um, we have a better, I don't want to say that, I don't know if that's true. It is possible that we have a better trash dis distribution center here in the States um, than wherever this box is going. Because we don't know, it could be going to a very developed area of the world um, and they could have excellent trash collecting abilities, but we don't know. And so just in case this is going to a rural child in a part of their country that doesn't re receive very many social services, we wanna collect all the trash so that it doesn't pile up at their house. Another reason is once it's in the box, that's precious space that we could fill with other things. For example, if you send a Barbie, which is a great gift to send, you wanna take it out of the box because you don't wanna send them air and plastic and cardboard. We wanna send them items in here. So enough blabbing, enough housekeeping. Let's get into it. Let's open this kitty themed box with Annabeth for a girl aged five to nine. Okay, so rubber band off. Ooh, here we go. It's been a while since I packed this, so it's gonna be a surprise for both of us, which is so fun. Excuse me, I'm still recovering from COVID. I have a negative test, so it's not there anymore, but if I <coughs> clear my throat or cough or whatever, that's what's going on. So the first thing I like to do in these clear boxes is put a bandana down in the bottom to kind of act as a wrapping paper, but it's also a very useful gift for any child, um, no matter what part of their country they're in, whether they're in a very developed area or a rural area, any kiddo can utilize a bandana. I put it down in there on a diagonal um, just because it helps me wrap everything better. So this was purchased at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents. There's the little tag. I should actually cut that off. So then once she opens her box, this is what she's going to see. Reminder, it is a kitty cat themed and I love kitty cats. So right here on top, let's just pull these out, are her paper goods, I guess. So I do have this really adorable puppy and kitty color tivity book that i got at dollar tree i got this back before um prices changed so i did only pay a dollar for this and then actually let me double check that i don't want to tell you the wrong thing this i think i got this actually at dollar general for 98 cents so pro tip if you're still looking for coloring books that are 98 cents or less, go to Dollar General. They also usually have some in the clearance section for like 75 or 60 cents. So um, inside this little flap here, I put some stickers. These were actually contributed by, these, by you guys. 
This set of adorable puffy stickers was given to us by Denise, so thank you. And this adorable set of stickers, which I'm pretty sure is from uh, Oriental Trading, it says it down there, was given to us by Lynette. So thank both of you guys for the wonderful stickers going in this kitty box. Let me set this over here. I also have contributed, I love this. This is my favorite um, composition notebooks that I found on clearance in the middle of the year. So don't give up on school supplies um, just yet. They, you still will find clearance year round. And that's all, it's just lined notebook paper on the inside there, but I love the color. Next, oh, so much fun. I hope I'm able to get all of this back in the box how it was. Let me scoot it back so you can see all the box. Is this a really fun eye mask? So sparkly and fun. I got this for 15 cents um, on after summer clearance last year at Dollar General. Then on Halloween clearance last year, I picked up this really cute kitty cat set. It comes with the ears so she can dress up like a black kitty cat and this little bow tie and the tail. So here is the bow tie and the tail. So much fun for this little girl. Let's see if I can keep it all kinda together over here. Then is this bag. It's a reusable bag from Ikea. It has kitty cat, well, more like Jaguars all over it, but I had to include it in this kitty box. Um, I really like getting reusable bags at Ikea. They're usually a reasonable price and they have different themes on them every season. And so if you go at the end of a season, there's usually one design of the Ikea bag that is on sale. So I did pick these up on sale. They're normally like a dollar a piece, but I think I got it for like 75 cents. Next, look. Isn't she adorable? Is this beautiful little baby doll that I have kind of packed in here like she has a blankie on her. Um, I'll show you the blankie. This is actually a wash a baby washcloth that I got at Dollar Tree. So the key tip with this is that I actually got it in my clearance section at Dollar Tree. I don't know if your Dollar Tree has clearance, but mine does. And they're usually only over there because someone opened the package and then left them on the shelf. So for this one, these were usually um, $1.25 for a set of four, and I got them for 75 cents for a set of four. And they aren't very thick for using as actual washcloths, but they're a lot of fun to use as a baby blanket. So I included this for her to use as a toy with her baby doll. And then look at this beautiful baby doll. Isn't she just gorgeous with those bright blue eyes and a kitty cat on her shirt. So I had to send this doll in. This doll came in a set of three dolls and three little sidekicks with the dolls, which I will show you momentarily when I get to it in the box. But it was contributed by my cousin Marla and her daughter Hannah that uh, currently live in Japan. So this is how they participate in Operation Christmas Child is by sending me things through my Amazon wish list to pack. So Marla and Hannah, this one is from you. I'm gonna cover her up with her little blankie. I forget that you guys can see some of this stuff, but I am not as good at laying it out all pretty. I just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. The other kind of sub theme of this is like an orange and yellow cat. So here is her beautiful yellow bow. It's so pretty and it has little gemstones on the edges here. And I actually got this on clearance at my Kroger. So don't overlook the clearance section at your grocery store because I find a lot of good treasures there. Um, next, there's lots of little goodies pushed down in here. There's this little orange kitty cat. Um, and this was contributed by Lynette. I believe that she got this at RaymondGettys.com. And this little kitty pack 
Um, this is several different kitties. One of them is actually a Barbie kitty. And Barbie kitty, oh goodness, dropping stuff. Barbie kitty is so cute. She came in her own little basket and with a little ball of yarn from Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. And then also in a pack of um, little figurines from Dollar Tree, they had puppies and kitties in a pack. And I just placed a couple of those extra kitties down in the little sack. So she, again, it's not a, it's not a Robin video if I don't throw something. But I put them in the little pack so that she will have multiple little figurines to play with. And of course they had to be kitty cats. I also have included this little hair kit for her. Um, this is all the little things that I like to include in a um, in any box that I am putting together. There is a little cross so that each box gets something spiritual in it. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby from Playside Creations. And if you wait and go at the right time, Playside Creations are usually 50% off. So these are a really great deal. I also have several different kinds of hair ties and little hair clips in here and these fun little bunny rabbit googly eyes for her to play with. So that is down in this little hair tie pouch. I also have included two fun little shiny bracelets or hair ties, however she wants to use them. And they have like an orangey yellow tint to them and they're stars. Again, I got these on clearance from Dollar General last summer for um, 15 cents for the pack, and I think it came with four of these little armbands. Oh, this is a fun one that goes with her baby doll. So just to show you the portions again, here is her adorable baby doll. And I picked these up at Dollar Tree in the um, party section for a baby shower. So they're supposed to be baby shower decorations. But I thought that it was just the perfect little ratio to be a baby rattle. And so I got, I think, I think there were five or six of these in a pack. So I got plenty, one for each baby doll box that I will have. And now the baby doll has its own little toy for like a quarter. So much fun. So pro tip. I'm gonna set this over here with baby doll. <coughs> also from Dollar Tree are these little poppets. Um, recently, a lot of Walmarts had these on sale for like a quarter or 10 cents. So I hope you were able to pick up some miniature poppets. Um, I have here a Scribbles, a Crayola Scribbles. Um, and it just is a furry little animal that comes with this brush and two reusable washable markers. So you can color on your little scribbable um, animal. And this one happens to be a kitty cat. I got these on clearance at Kroger as well. And I'm sending most of them in as filler, but since she was a kitty cat, I went ahead and opened her, put her in this. I, I know I don't like to send trash, but I wanted to send all of this together so she knew it went together. Um, and it is just a disposable plastic sandwich bag. Another fun wow item for her is this. It is actually called a pur, like P-U-R, I think, or fur Rito. I don't know, they are blind boxes usually that you buy and they come with this little stuffed animal in it. Usually these are larger stuffed animals, about, you know, this big and like this big around. But this was a blind box with two in it, so they're the mini ones, which makes them just perfect to go into our box. And here is our really cute little kitty with the cute little tail and the really cute ears. It's just a fun way to receive a stuffy. Um, and it comes with its own little blanket, which can be a lovey, this is so soft, or it can be another baby blanket. So um, I did go ahead and put a little kitty, orange kitty cat in here for her to receive. Okay. 
Alrighty. I also have included this bag of goodies. Oh, so fun. Normally I just tell you what's in here, but I have to show you because it is adorable. So this part here is just a Mac mask that I've rolled up and tucked in there for her just in case it's still needed in her country. But these socks, guys, oh my goodness. I actually picked these up at Daiso, I believe. So the kitty cat, this little calico kitty cat and her paws hang out of the bottom of the socks. And then there's little fishies for her to try to eat and grab. Such a cute pair of socks. I'm so glad that I was able to find these and include them for her in this box. So let me put this back in the organza bag. I just rolled it up as tightly as I could and put it back in the organza bag. Real cute so she can see the kitty cat face. And then tighten it up. Voila, a little baggie of goodies. Tucked down in the side over here. Over here are a few <coughs> Excuse me, I need my water, but I forgot to bring it. A few extra goodies. This one is from Charlotte, so thank you, Charlotte. And it is actually a necklace and a bracelet set of little kitty faces. So cute and so fun. You can include something like this down in the side of any box. And these set of kitties really cute and handmade jewelry. These actually come from Kayla Beretta, who is a missionary in Colombia. So thank you, Kayla, for this beautiful set of earrings for this little girl. So, so far we have a gift from England, a gift from Colombia, and a gift from Japan in this box. Oh, it makes my heart so happy. Actually, I think something else was from Denise. So probably, from the um, United Arab Emirates, right? I think that's where she's from. I'm sorry, I forgot. But I know that um, this box is packed with so much love from so many places. Um, okay, let's do her Hot Wheels. I love to put two rolling things in any box, whether it's a boy or a girl. So this is her first one. Of course, it had to be yellow. I thought it was really fast and fun. But here is her second one. Can you tell that it's a kitty cat? It's actually themed from the kitty cat from the new Buzz Lightyear movie. Um, and so it says, has a little tag on the front and the tag says socks on it. And so does the back little license plate. So I thought that was a really fun. I also got this on clearance at Kroger. So don't pass up your grocery store, y'all. Here is the little companion that came with the baby doll. Like I mentioned before, the box set comes with three baby dolls <coughs> <coughs> and three companions. So here is her little companion. And this is the ratio. But this companion came with a kitty cat, a little yellow kitty cat. And this kitty cat is what inspired the color and theme of the whole box. So it was also contributed by Marla and Hannah in that box set of baby dolls and companions. I also included a yellow whistle from Angie. So thank you so much for that, Angie. We love whistles. They're so much fun just to make noise. I have included a pack of cards that are all cat themed. Um, they're really cute. I'm just gonna pull one up here so maybe you can see that all the little cards have kitties on them. So fun. I got this in the dollar spot at Target several months ago. Uh, but be on the lookout for some fun themed things around. No, I did not get this at Target. It says Greenbrier on the bottom. My bad. Dollar Tree, y'all. Okay, here is her pencil pack. I did use the yellow one, so much fun. The bag itself was contributed by Angie, but other things in here were contributed by Izzy and Denise and Sonia, we miss you, Sonia, and Valerie and Lynette. So let me um, show you, there are some generic things in here. So she has four number two pencils, pencil top erasers, highlighters, um, a pair of scissors, which are actually contributed 
by Annabeth. So one of your things made it in this box. Um, Annabeth and some crayons from Jessica from Foothills Family. But there are some unique things in here too, so I will show you those. Um, she has four novelty pencils, and I don't know if you can see or tell, but they have kitty cats in like a Lisa Frank look-alike pattern. Um, I also have included a fun sparkly yellow pen that does write in yellow. Um, Izzy contributed these notebooks, so cute. And they are blank on the end. No, they're lined. Lined little notebooks. And Lynette contributed these fun little things. Um, I believe that this is from Oriental Trading in a pack of different cards that just are encouraging little cards to include. And then this is definitely from RaymondGettys.com. It is a beautiful lenticular bookmark. I just, I hope it's picking up on camera because it is a very impressive. So here is the little logo. These are really cool. I, it's one of my favorite things that she sent to go in our boxes. So beautiful. Okay, I'm, I'm not distracted by the kittens, but I really am. So we're gonna put them back in this pencil pouch. So zip it all on up. Oops. Okay, I got a little too ahead of myself. Here we go, zip it on up. And it was just sitting down right here in the box, right like that. Another little pouch in here for her is this fun orange and yellow Ipsy bag. These um, bags were actually contributed by my neighbors. These bags come every month as a makeup subscription. And I'm sure that if you ask your neighborhood, several ladies in your neighborhood are collecting these and don't know what to do with them. And when you give them an opportunity to use them for charity, they usually will deliver and give you all of their collection. So I think when I asked my Facebook group, if anyone had these, I got like 27 bags of all different shapes and sizes and colors. And they are a little bit too small, see, to use for pencils. They don't, pencils don't fit, but you can use them for all kinds of different things. So in here, this is her little hygiene kit. I didn't even remember what I packed in it. But we have her chapstick and her, um, what, did, what is this called? I always forget. Nail clippers and nail file contributed by Angie. And a, let's see here. I'll just put it down here. A bar of soap. I get these from Dollar Tree in a pack of three. And they come wrapped in their own packaging. So I like to send these. And they have a very mild scent to them. Down in the bottom here is also her toothbrush. Toothbrush. <laughs> I get these in a pack of five from Walmart for $1, and they are Dr. Fresh children's toothbrushes, so they're small enough to fit in these little packs. <coughs> a normal-sized adult, to adult toothbrush would not really fit in these little packs. And a yellow comb, also contributed by Angie, and an Ikea spoon that I like to get. They come in a pack of four for, I think like 75 cents. I, I forget the price every time. And the last thing in here is a washcloth folded up nice and neat. So this is her little hygiene pack um, to use when she is at home with all of her little goodies. Uh, also about the toothbrushes, please look up the recommendations in your country. I know in the United States, we can send them just like this, but in some countries they require that you send them in their original packaging or in a plastic baggie. So please look it up and make sure that you're following the rules. All right, hygiene baggie sort of repacked. Oh, this is fun. This little um, star wand was actually contributed by Tracy, so thank you for these. This is just a fun little toy that can go down in almost any box. It doesn't take up any room and just shove it down in the side of the box. This I picked up 
um, an after Christmas clearance. It's a fun little sewing kit project where you can make your own kitty cat. So much fun. It comes with everything she needs right in here and there is no glue or paint. So if you do pick up these fun little craft kits, please be sure not to send the ones with glue or paint. And if they do have glue or paint, please take them out or they will get taken out at the distribution center. And the last things in here are down in here flat. I did go ahead and include this really cute kitties in outer space coloring and sticker booklet. So here are some of the color pages with crazy kitty cats in outer space. And here are the fun cosmic kitty cat stickers. Well, and other animals too, I guess. Um, so just a lot of fun. So I did go ahead and drop this down in the bottom. And the very last thing is this cute paper pad that I did pick up at Dollar Tree with kitty cats all over it. And the paper, if you can see, has like lines, but also like watermarks of kittens back there. So that is my shoebox for a girl aged five to nine with the theme of cats. Please don't forget to go watch Annabeth's video, which is linked in the description below. As soon as I'm finished here, that's what I'm doing next. I'm gonna sit down on this couch, veg out, relax a little, drink a lot of water, and watch Annabeth's video from Sending Shoeboxes. That is all for today. I missed doing this with you guys over the past couple weeks because COVID stinks. But I'm so glad to be back. I'm glad to be negative. And I am glad that we have only a few more weeks before collection week. Get in there, get packing all of the boxes. I had so much fun with you today. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.